it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure you tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and hit the notification bell while you're at it. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, welcome back. All right, y'all, so as you can see, my hair is out today. Ah! I literally just did like my wash day last night because I had my braids in for like two months. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. So it really needs to be washed. And also I wanna get my hair rebraided by my lady before things shut down here in the DMV area. So here I am, I washed my hair. Those who might wanna know what my hair looks like, this is it. It's kinky, it's coily, it's, you know, this is what it is. I definitely wouldn't say it's in its healthiest state because my ends need trimming. So I will be doing that at some point. But yeah, this is my hair. So the reason why I have my hair out today is because I want to do a ponytail so for those of you who guess like some type of half up half up half up half down style when i asked in my last video you were close it's not gonna be half up half down it's just gonna be all the way up now i did consider doing a style with my hair out where i would do like um a bang here and then a bang here and straightening it and then doing the ponytail but the last time i first of all i'm very finicky about straightening my hair or putting heat on my hair period even when it comes to blow drying so i was so upset when i learned that i had a little bit of heat damage i don't know if you remember this video but i did a video on a blowout wig right and i want to show you what it looked like with a little bit of leave out because i just thought it looked a little bit more natural like literally y'all i left like let me show you the leave out i left like this much leave out y'all like this much and it got heat damage you can't see it now but if i wet it it like curls up a little bit it looks like 3b hair and i'm like yo what the f i can't remember if i use heat protectant or not or maybe i did too many passes but i was like no you know what that bang style sounds really cute but i just don't feel like dealing with that right now with my natural hair i like my texture i like my coils i want to keep them maybe another time so i'm putting all this hair up and we're gonna do a nice long kinky straight ponytail and we're going to be using a new ponytail by sensational the sensational instant pony wrap can y'all see that uh my lighting it's the kinky straight 30 inch in a number two color because my natural hair color is definitely number two so yeah we're gonna do some kinky straight realness so if you're ready if you're excited to see me do a pony keep on watching all right so first this is gonna be like kind of a talk through i'm gonna gather all my hair up right and Woo, this hair is thick, y'all. Jesus Christ, I thought I blew this out, like, and it still feels so thick. Ah! Yo, I used to do ponytails all the time, y'all. Like, when I was younger, like, especially in high school, when I started, like, trying out little weave ponytails, I would use my mom's old hair. I thoroughly enjoyed that look, thoroughly. Normally what happens is I get my hair braided like back to back like every two months. So I never have my natural hair out in, for enough time to even do a ponytail. And I have like two other ponytails in my arsenal, but I just never got around to it. So I was like, you know what? I really want to try this ponytail by Sensational. Let me just do something real quick while my hair is out and, you know, see how the girls like it. Here I am. I just gathered all my hair up oh man and now right now let's check my edges they are doing pretty i would say they're doing pretty well um when i wear wigs sometimes i do use the combs it hasn't really done too much harm when it comes to my edges like i did notice right here was a little bit thin but i don't think that was from the combs i feel like maybe my hair has always been like that right here seems to be fine though so edge check seems like everything is good to go all right so now i'm gonna take some my got my um i'm so loose saying got to be glue i'm gonna take some of my echo styler gel and apply it oh my god <laughs> i look like um what's her name from the simpsons marge look i look like marge oh it's not even staying up <laughs> oh god okay i also think it's imperative to have this type of bore brush with the hard bristles because it really kind of helps smooth out the hair so i got some gel i'm not gonna use like a whole ton i'm applying the gel to the front to the sides to the back 
and I'm gonna brush it. Ugh. Brush it up. So it's up. Just a heads up, you might see my lighting switching in and out a little bit. I've been stopping and recording and sometimes the lighting just changes. So bear with me. But yeah, so now I'm gonna wrap up my hair. Really simple, just to get it to lay flat. And I will probably leave it for this like this for like 10 minutes or so. All right, so I'm back. I'm going to take this scarf off. It's been about 15 minutes or more. All right, it's laying pretty flat. The back though is like humpy, but we're going to ignore that, okay? I haven't done a ponytail in so long, so don't judge me. All right, so let's get into the details of this pony. So this is new by Sensational. I know a lot of you are familiar with the half up, half down style that's out right now. I haven't gotten my hands on the one I wanted to try, but I decided to just get the pony. It says it's an instant pony wrap. It says you can do your pony in 60 seconds. Kinky straight, 30 inches in a number two color. And on the back of this card, it gives you instructions on how to put on the ponytail. And it says it's available in some other colors like the T230, T2613, stuff like that. So let me just show you the ponytail, okay? So it comes here with this comb here on the side, um, a comb right here. And this is what's different about the instant wrap because it already separates a section of hair for you to wrap. And it's like an elastic band here that's really stretchy. So I think that's really interesting. One thing I noticed about the instant wrap ponies is that the section of hair is super thick. And I don't think I like my strip that thick. So don't be surprised if I end up trimming out some hair, but we'll see how I feel. All right, wow, I haven't put on a ponytail in like years, okay. All right, I think I need to take this out and do it over again. <gasps> Did I really forget how to do a ponytail? Come on, Gladys, like, what's going on? All right, y'all, we're starting over. I need to make this bun smaller. I'm starting the freak over. One thing I will say, <laughs> and again, I haven't done a ponytail in a long time, so don't judge me, but I should have got a 1B because clearly my hair is darker with the gel and it is not matching with this number two. So there's that. Um. Also, I'm just not really, yeah, maybe because it's not matching, I'm just not really feeling it right now. Like this right here is really thick. I don't like how thick the hair comes. So I'm gonna like, take some of that hair out. This is definitely too much for me. I'm literally just gonna cut it out. I cut this much out. All right y'all, so I am back with the ponytail. I finally got it on. So let's just dive right into the pros. First pros this ponytail is definitely the texture. It feels like kinky straight hair. I would say it's mimicking human hair fairly well. I'm glad that my hands do it very, very easily. I also really love the length of this ponytail. Like these 30 inches for this style is hitting. Like it's hitting me right near my belly button. I love it. I love the whole up do style. I really love 
ponytails, y'all. I know I don't show them on my channel, but when my hair is out, the next time I'll definitely make sure I do another one because I think it's so, so cute. Even though I'm not doing a half up, half down style here, I have done it on a wig. I did it on Sensational Liana and it looked really good. So I highly suggest that you check out that video. I will link it in the description box down below so you can see how I put that half up, half down. So the texture, the length is great. I think the updo style in general looks really cute too. Y'all let me know how you feel in the comments. Drop a comment down below if you feel like this pony is hitting for me. Now, as far as the consist unit, I would say just the whole instant wrap thing, I'm not totally sold on. First of all, the part that you wrap around a ponytail, to me, it was too thick for my liking. And that's not something I would really do if it was just a regular ponytail. The hair I would take out would normally be a little bit thinner. I did notice in other reviews that if you got this in a color for the half up, half down ones, the wrap part was also in that color, which I don't like because it's like, if I had this in a blonde color and I have my dark hair here and then like the blonde, strip of hair here and then like dark roots and blonde like I, I just think that looks a little weird so I really wish they would make the actual strap part just the color of number two or 1b that's just my opinion another consist unit I would say is the shedding it, it, I'm getting a lot of shedding with this right now but you know that's to be expected I've had other kinky straight ponytails before that shed that were synthetic so it, it's not a big deal to me. Another con I feel like are the combs. To me, the combs like were doing nothing or barely anything for me. I don't know if it's because my hair is so thick or whatever, but I was just like, I'd rather just use body pins and call it a day. Like these combs are not really staying in my hair. So that was bothersome. Let me know if you experienced that with any of the instant wrap ponytails by Sensational. Like the combs feel like they weren't secure enough for you like let me know another con to me is really it's my fault but i don't know why i didn't get a 1b knowing that my hair looks darker when i put gel on it like bug that is why don't you get a 1b it's not matching right now that's really bothering me but you guys get what i was going for and i still think it's cute and when i take my pictures you're not gonna be able to tell <laughs> I'll just know that next time I get a pony, it's gonna be in a 1B. Other than that, I don't have any complaints. I think the style is super cute, pretty effortless. I know I struggled a little bit with the wrap part, but that was, it ended up being okay. Of course, the price is a huge pro. This ponytail retails somewhere within the $9 range, which is awesome. I think the highest I saw it was like $9.99. So for a little under $10, you can get this look. One thing I would add to this if I had it to jazz it up. I know Aya all day did this one time where she used like this golden twine, you know, string that you can wrap around your ponytail. I would definitely do something like that to make this look more jazzy. I also have this clip here that I bought from Amazon and I, I went downstairs to try to see if it would work but it's too small for this thick part right here so when I do my a different ponytail the next time I'm gonna make it so that I'll probably make it so that it's not a bun under here it'll just be like a ponytail my own ponytail and that way it'll fit over my hair hopefully easier I don't know but I think this would have been really cute if I could have gotten it to work I also like that it comes with this rubber band I already have my hair rubber band so I just didn't feel like taking it all out again but I'm definitely gonna try this class the next time. I also just wanted to quickly show you guys how I put this up in a bun, basically by twisting it all the way down to the bottom and then just twirling it around my bun and see, look, it's a bun. So there's a lot of different styles you can do with this pony. Let me know your thoughts about this ponytail in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the texture, on the length, on the color, on my process of getting it on. Please let me know if you've tried this ponytail from Sensational, whether it be the half up, half down, or just the ponytail by itself. What are your thoughts? Sound off in the comments down below because you know I love when y'all talk to me. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and tap that notification bell because I have way more content coming your way. Remember, we are on the road to 10K. I am so ecstatic about about that trucking along here so if you are joining the family welcome and i'm so happy to have you. also if you want to see some of my latest videos check them out over here to the right of me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye